In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create categories and assign them to your products. To start, I'll click Products on the left side of the screen and then select Categories. You can see here that I've previously created some categories. Although the categories I've created match the names of the tabs on my menu, they are not linked. For example, if I rename the Cold Drinks category to Drinks, it won't change the tab name on my menu. The categories here are mainly for reporting purposes. As an example, I'll create a new category called Soft Drinks. To do this, I'll click Add New Category. Now on the right side of the screen, I'll enter in the category name. Now that I've entered the category name, I'll click Save. Here you can see the new category I've created. Now I'll show you how to rename a category. For this example, I'll select Cold Drinks, and then I'll rename it on the right side of the screen. Now that it's been renamed, I'll click Save. Now I want to assign the Soft Drinks category to some of my products. To do this, I'll click Products here. To find the products I'm looking for, I'll search for my Drinks category that I just renamed. Here you can see all of the products that have been assigned to the Drinks category. For this example, I want to select all of the soft drinks and assign them to the new soft drinks category I created. First, I'll just tick all of the soft drink products. Now that I have my soft drinks selected, I'll click Settings at the top of the screen. First, I'll assign the soft drinks category to these products. To do this, I'll just click Product Category and then select Soft Drinks. Now that Soft Drinks is selected, I'll click Add. You can see here that I now have two categories assigned to my soft drinks. If you like, you can have two categories assigned to your products, but for my example, I'll remove the drinks category and just leave the soft drinks category. To do this, I'll search for the soft drinks category I created. Here you can see that all the products in the soft drink category are listed. Now I'll select all of these products and then click Settings. By default, the previous setting that I applied here will be displayed. When I delete this, it won't remove the soft drinks category from my products. I'll click the X here, and now I'll select my drinks category. This time, instead of adding a category, I want to remove the drinks category from these products. To do this, I'll click the Remove button. I recommend breaking down your categories in a way similar to this. It makes it much easier to search for the exact category of products that you're looking for. It will also come in handy when looking at reports. We'll cover reports in greater detail in a later video, but for now I'll just show you one of them. I'll click Reports on the left side of the screen, and then select Sales by Category. Here you can see a breakdown of my Sales by Category in a pie graph. Here you can see the three categories I've had sales for on the date above. Now I'll show you how to create category groups so you can group your categories together. To do this, I'll click Products on the left side of the screen, and then select Categories. Now that we're on the category screen, I want to create two product category groups. I want to create one for my food categories and one for my beverages categories. To do this, I'll click New Group here. The first category group I'll create is Food. Now that I've entered the Food category group, I'll select New Group again to create the Beverage category. Now that I've created these category groups, I'll refresh the page by clicking Categories again. Now I can begin assigning these category groups to the categories below. First, I'll select my Burgers category and then select Group here. I'll click the drop-down menu and select my Food group. Now I'll click Save. 
Next, I'll select my Drinks category and select the Beverages group. Now I'll click Save. Next, I'll select my Sides category and assign it to the Food group and click Save. Lastly, I'll assign the Soft Drinks category to the Beverages group. Now I'll click Save. Now we'll go back to the Sales by Category report and I'll show you the difference. I'll go into Reports and then select Sales by Category again. Now we can see a breakdown of our sales with these two groups. We have the Soft Drinks category in the Beverages group and the Sides and Burgers categories in the Food group. 